Today I'm going to show you how to change the thermistor on the Ender 3 Pro or any other Ender that you might have. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get all the tools out. Make sure I got everything readily accessible. So we're going to go ahead, make sure that we unplug it. And then we're gonna remove these three screws down here. Use the same tools that we got, that you got with the printer. I'm gonna put these over here so I don't lose them. Give a mental note that that is the bottom one, the long one. from the top on as well. It's just right here. And it just came right off. So we're not pulling on this wire. I'm just gonna lay this right here to make sure it doesn't pull on it. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the uh, hot end. Go ahead and take that off. And then we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna take these two screws right here. Top one. I like to keep them separated. Just so I know where they go. Lay these on here. So that way it's not also not pulling on it. Take these uh, silicone sleeve off of it. We'll remove these two screws. And then we're gonna put it on the bed. Just needs a nice little cleaning on here. All right, so the thermistor is this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. and then we got to take this tape off. Take this tape.
and then we're gonna go ahead and cut all these little ties so that way it gives them some space to uh, to work. We'll go ahead and start feeding with their Mr. Y. One thing that we can do is get the, uh, the new thermistor. You gotta be very careful with this, the end. So what we're gonna do is We're going to tape this to this end and then fit it through. I want to make sure that this is stretched out completely. And then we're going to go ahead and get this out of here because we're going to uh, flip the, uh, the printer on his back. So move that there. Get this out of the way. So we go to the, put it on his back. Cable's gonna come through here. So all we have to do is just pull on this ones and see which one's the one that's gonna start moving. Uh, this one right here, the thermistor one. So look at this, move it to the front. Pull on it, pull the back, and I'm gonna have to cut these. Yeah, because it's not gonna go through there. Try to loosen this up, take this tape off, save it so we can put it back on. Okay, so we know the end is right here. We just gotta keep pushing it up. Don't have a long way to go, so that's good. So this snaking it actually worked. Cause it at least got it close to where I needed, to, needed it to go. And we'll work this down. And here's it, here's the cable. So what we need to do is take this tape off now and unplug that one, plug this one up and then finish the uh, installation. I don't really just want to pull it because uh, I don't want it to break the switch or the connector. I wanted to break this connector. Pull the other one off. Put this one in here. This is all glued in here, so you gotta kinda wiggle it out with the little uh, screw.
screwdriver. Just gotta move it. Run this back down. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and put all this back in here. Like it needs to go. That way we have something in there. Close this back up. Yeah, that's good. This goes back in that little hole. And then we need some zip ties. One for over here. And then the ones in the back. We'll get to that. That's all you gotta do. So we'll get that. We'll put this back on. <clears throat> Remember the small ones are for the top. The long one is for that bottom one. I think this is too big. No, this is it. Okay. Here. Number two. No, the short one. The longer screw goes down here in the bottom. Righty, so now we can flip it back over. Bring this through here where it needs to go. Then we'll go ahead put the thermistor in there. Thermistor goes right in this little hole, and then these wires will split up. And that's where you're gonna put your uh, your screw to hold it in place. In there, and just kind of. Fold it in there. Split this up a little bit. Put the screw on here. You have to be very careful with those, these wires. And then this only needs to be finger tight. Just like that. No pressure at all. Because you don't want to break those little wires in there. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, screws back on. We'll put the hot end back in place. Let me wipe this down. So we'll put this up here for now. <clears throat> okay. 
kind of hand tighten it just so they don't fall. Then I just tighten it a little bit, just to kind of keep it centered. Tighten the second one all the way. And tighten the first one all the way. Should be good to go. And put the filament to it again. Okay, we'll put the cover back on. Then we don't, we can't forget the, the screw for the box up here. Alrighty, so that is done. What we need to do now is just uh, give it a try. I gotta make sure I put the tape back on here just to make sure none of these wires get messed up with the uh, hot end. So I'll put the tape back on there and then uh, I'll run some tests. All right, fairly simple, uh, only $2.99 on uh, micro center so if it's giving you problems just switch out the thermistor it's easier all right thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like